Industry Buzz with 3Zs.com. Now, bringing integrity back to media. Latonya M. Lane. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to a night of 100 stars. This is your girl, Latonya M. Lane. We're here to celebrate the awardees, Miss Chaz, Eber, Tim King, Tom Joyner, and the one and only rising star, Jeremy. You guys keep it locked. It's great interviews and great fun to come here at DuSable Museum. We're here celebrating the Night of 100 Stars with two of my favorite people. You guys are here again this year. What do you think about the festivities on today? Oh, it's wonderful. You know, the way they've laid out the uh, museum and it turned into sort of a cabaret. So it's interesting to be in the Saba Museum and have it look like this and to see all the uh, very well-dressed people come out. <laughs> and you look at kind of dapper oh, yourself. You look at you. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, yeah. He, he cleaned up well. <laughs> I was trying to be festive. Now, why did you decide to get involved this year again for DuSable Museum 50th anniversary? Well, 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 for two reasons. One, everybody likes to come out and have a good time. But this is a very important cause in our community. We really want to make sure that we keep institutions like this open and thriving. So it's important that people come out and support DuSable Museum. Well, thank our history, our heart story. Yes, and you are our history right now. Thank you. thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. It's more great interviews to come here at a night of 100 stars. We're here with Mr. Hill. Hey, Mr. Hill. Hi. Now, you decided to join DuSaba Museum this year for their 50th anniversary for a night of 100 stars. Why did you decide to get all suited and booted to come out? Well, this, I've been a member since I returned in Chicago in 206. Wow. So, I've been a supporter of the museums, African American museums, for the last 40 years. So, this is just in the tradition. Wow. of supporting our history. I mean, if, if we don't support our history, it's our responsibility to, to be put, support our history yes. because no one else is going to give an accurate assessment of who we are. Wow. But well, we're excited. You decided to come out tonight. Yes. What to expect? Like, are you expecting anything to happen tonight? Are you going to get dancing? What are well, you going to do tonight? I want to dance with me like you. I'll take it. <laughs> well, we'll I'll take to, it. We're going to have to get that dancing. I'll take it. <laughs> You well, know. thank you, Mr. Well, Hill, for stopping you. by. And you, uh, which, which company are you with now? Industry Buzz. Well, keep me in, uh, you I'll know, I run a pre-college science and engineering program. Okay. It's called the Chicago Pre-College Science You have a card? Yeah. Okay. And it's for kindergarten, first, second, and third grade. Oh, we need to stay connected then. Yeah. Awesome. Might want to do awesome. awesome. We're going to close it out right here. Thank you so much, you guys. It's more to come here at DuSable Museum. We're here with Aaron and Brandon. You guys got all dapper tonight. What is going on? Are you guys excited about the Night of 100 Stars? Absolutely. This is the first time I've attended the event, so I'm very excited to be here. Awesome, awesome. Is this your first time as well, Brandon? I think mean, it's my second year. Wow, wow. It's my second year. So you was here last year when we was here. So is it a huge difference? Like, do you see the difference from last year and this year? Uh, looks good as it did last year. We'll have to see what the evening holds. Awesome. Now, why did you guys decide to come out tonight again this year and you for the first time to support DuSable Museum? It's a jewel of our community, one of our great institutions, and the leadership that Dr. Adams has only taken it to another notch. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you, you guys, for stopping by, and you guys enjoyed the show. Thank you. Y'all keep it locked. We on the move here tonight. We're here with Ms. Kim and Travis, and you guys got all ready for tonight. Why did you guys decide to stop by the DuSable Museum to celebrate with them? Well, because the DuSable Museum is a wonderful museum, and we're certainly here to support the museum and all the honorees tonight. So. Wow. Now, is it your first year being here with DuSable Museum? Yes, it is, and we're really excited about being here. Awesome, awesome. So is there anything specific that you guys are going to expect from tonight? No, we're just looking forward to a great evening. We're very excited. Awesome, awesome. Don't they look dapper? <laughs> Y'all keep it like it's more inspiration to come here at DuSable Museum. I always support DuSable Museum. My godmother is the CEO of DuSable, and my family has been supporting for years. 
so I I'm obligated to be here. Wow. Now, I know that it's not just obligation. In you, a good way. You, in a good way, right, in a good way. We don't want to get that distorted. But in a good way, and you have definitely been a supporter of history. So what does this night really mean to people all over the world that's looking in? Well, if you realize, like, Margaret Burroughs started this album, and her history and lineage, we had to learn to hold that torch and keep it going. We they tend to fuse over time, but we're younger and better, so we must go and do what we got to do to make that happen, well, like, you're, like yeah. you are. Oh, you're so sweet. You are definitely making it happen out tonight. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you, too. Y'all keep it locked. More great interviews to come. We're here for a night of 100 stars, and um, I think you were here last year. I was, I was. <laughs> he was honored on last year for a night of 100 stars, and doesn't it look different than what it was last year? Amazing. I was just walking around and looking at the new exhibits. It's amazing, simply amazing. Wow. Now, you have definitely been buzzing in the street. You have a lot of things going on. Tell everybody what's up with you. Well, now I'm in college. I'm at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. Um, I was just elected to the Student Senate, the only African American in the Student Senate wow. of 50 senators. So that's my new project, and I'm ready for the work. I get sworn in April 20th. Oh, that is awesome. We need to be there for that, for real. Awesome. Be there, April 20th. Now tell everybody what you do and what is your mission and goals. Well, my mission is to bring the youth of Chicago together so that we can transform the city and make it the place that we want it to be for ourselves and for the future generations of, of Chicagoans. Well, all it takes is somebody stepping up, and you are definitely stepping up and sowing your seed. Thank you, ma'am. I try. Now, how can people connect with you if they want to be a part of what you're doing? You know, the best way to contact me is through email. It's Damani Rashad at gmail.com. Awesome. Thank you, Damani. No problem. It's good to see you. Y'all keep it like it's more inspiration to come. Y'all hear the music? Get dancing. We're here with Principal Bowden. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing excellent tonight. I saw you dancing coming in almost. Well, I was doing a jig. <laughs> the best that I could, but I had a good time, good time. You guys are here on tonight and you're the principal of a school. Tell everybody your school. I'm the assistant principal. Uh, a a pres I you gotta be principal yes. coming up. I, um, my school is Simeon, Neil F. Simeon, home of the uh, 2011 Illinois State Champions oh, basketball. <laughs> And you decided to come out on tonight. Why was it important for you to come out on tonight to celebrate history with the Saba Museum? We came out to honor uh, one of our students who's, who is being honored tonight, Jeremy West. Yes. 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 And you're here as well, and you're one of the sponsors of their program. How does it feel to see the students really excel from the school that you're sponsoring? Well, it's very exciting. It's quite an honor to be honored in this May. Now, what to expect from you guys? Expect over there at Simeon. Well, expect good things, mainly from the students, also the community, because we're fired up and ready to go. Well, we're fired up with you. Thank you. Y'all keep it locked and get fired up into inspiration here at the Saba Museum, Night of 100 Stars. I have my Uncle George. Hey. hey. Hello, hello. I see you everywhere. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> now you're here to celebrate with the Saba Museum for a night of 100 stars. Yes. Why did you decide to come? Well actually uh, Carol Adams invited me yeah. and she felt that I would be a, an important, uh, I guess, asset if you will. <laughs> but I just got off the Tom Joyner cruise yeah, and see did. Tom and I go way back and so it's, uh, it's an honor to be here. I swear, you know, just to be in this building yeah. is just an honor for me. Well, it's an honor for us to interview with you on today. Let's do it. Now, what's next with you? Well, you know, um, Midway Airport, we're getting ready to do some expansion there. Okay. I'm getting ready to reopen my Roosevelt Road store. Okay. Uh, I'm still doing a lot of artist development and artist management and so on and so forth. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much for stopping by to talk to us on today. I appreciate it. We got to make sure we get you doing a two-step. <laughs> Anytime. I teach you. Keep it like it's more inspiration to come here at a night of 100 stars. I have the buzzing diva in the building. Don't you look cute? Thank you. You look adorable, too. Thank you. You are a woman on the move. Last time I saw you, you was hosting for Jennifer Hudson, her event at Navy Pier, yes. and now you're here for a night of 100 stars. Why tonight? Why come out and get out? 
dapper, as I would say. You know what? Why not? What a wonderful museum and a and a icon in our city so I'm honored this is my first year yeah. and I actually read about it in the paper and I said I've got to be here I've got to experience this night of a hundred stars and I want to be a part of it and I want to meet people and I want to tell people about Windy City Live <laughs> which is coming up on May 26th at 9 a.m. I was just about to ask you that because you made a transition and now you're doing that are you kind of working your way in or are you set now because you're just now doing that right? right right I've been at work a month now behind the scenes there's a lot of preparation that has to go Go into making a creating a talk show and creating a startup. So every day there's tons of meetings, there's auditions, there's meeting folks, uh, trying to figure out how we want to build this show that is going to captivate Chicagoans and make sure that they want to watch every single day at 9 a.m. to 10 in Oprah's old time slot. She's wow. done on the 25th. We start on the 26th, and we are buzzing with excitement. <laughs> Uh, we have a lot of energy. We have a wonderful staff. Ryan Cheverini and I have been bonding over the last couple of weeks, and we've got a couple more months to bond before the show actually kicks out. So we're excited. We're excited wow. to talk about and do everything Chicago, which is one of the reasons why I felt like, you know what? I need to be here. I need to get out and about. I need to be at the DuSable Museum and celebrate this museum. Uh, 50 years with the Night of 100 Stars, and why not start now? You can tell that she's a media personality, because I did not have to ask any more questions. <laughs> she just got it right. Bike. No, she got it in. She got it in. And you are captivating people, so I'm looking forward oh, to seeing your you. show. Thank you Tell so much. Tell everybody again how they can pick it up. Well, you know what? You can watch it on Channel 7 starting May 26th at 9 a.m. We kick off Oprah's Done on the 25th. The next day when you go look for Oprah, you will see Ryan and I at 9 a.m. We are actually in the same studio where AM Chicago was filmed years ago. Uh, our set is being built as we speak, so it is going to be truly exciting, something different something fun. People want entertainment and that's what we plan on doing. Well, we're looking forward to Thank buzzing you. in with you. Thank you. <laughs> and we're buzzing off into inspiration. Y'all keep it locked here at a night of 100 stars. <laughs> I have the one and only Mr. Ken in the building and you're here for the night of 100 stars. Why is it so important for people to understand history that's happening here at DuSable Museum? It's so very important for us to know our heritage, our history, because if we know where we where we come from, then we know how to make a direction in the future. Mm -hmm. So yes, and they have some brand new exhibits. I haven't even seen the one about Harold Washington. Yes, fabulous. They have the the robot. And, and it looks it looks like him. It looks like there. he's getting yeah. ready to move. Yeah. <laughs> it is a fabulous exposure. Hi there. They're getting here right now, but you're moving right now. You have your organization and everything that you're yes. doing as well. Tell us more about your organization and their involvement in the community. We have a foundation called APCAP. It's a Anaya's Breast Cancer Awareness Program, and it was named in memory of my wife, who we lost to breast cancer in April of 2004. Since that time, we have used our foundation and her name to pay for women who are uninsured or unemployed to get free mammograms, and that's our program. We do a, a health awareness uh, seminar every year, and we also do a gala. And we pay for it through funds, through state funds. And our program is called uh, ABCAP, a nice breast cancer awareness program. Wow, wow. Okay. Now, also, also, I also do events for uh, stepping. Yeah. And I raise money that way. First Thursday of the month at the Alhambra Palace Theater, we do an event called the After Work Networking and Steppers Affair. Oh, that's what's up. And so what happens is that we bring stars in, we bring stars in, and we also... Uh, uh, raise money that way. Mm -hmm. And we have the stars, we have the governor come in to help us enroll women mm -hmm. with free mammograms. Wow. Are we going to see some stepping from you tonight? Yeah. At the, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, thank you stepping. so much for thank hanging you. out with us on today. I'm so happy to see you. It's good to see you too. I have the buzzing diva, Miss Zandre Hughes, in the big den, in the biz den. <laughs> and you're here for a night of 100 stars. Yeah. But um, word is on the street that you're doing something else right now, and I'm really excited for you with Rolling Out. Yes, I am. I'm your national deputy editor for Rolling Out. I am so happy. Uh, Steed Media Group is a multimedia company, just like Industry Buzz. Thank you. And you know we're both connected, right? Yes. And this is a great opportunity for us to bring positive stories about African Americans to the forefront. Wow. Why did you decide to go with uh, Rolling Out? Because you have so many options. Why did you decide Rolling Out was the place to make your home? 
I have such respect and admiration for the man behind it and when he speaks and how he's built his life to better the lives of African Americans and business and entertainment in every facet, I had to be a part of that movement and an opportunity was there and I took it. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. Now you also have some other things that's buzzing as well. <laughs> six, what is it, uh, six, six brown, brown chicks? chicks. Yes, yes, Tell yes. me about that. Six Brown Chicks is a blog. We blog six times a week on Chicago Now. Brown is a color that means unity and real and down to earth. So we have white brown chicks, we have Asian brown chicks, <laughs> but we're all six brown chicks because we're trying to be like you. Down to earth, <laughs> wow. living your dream, taking that challenge to the next step. That's what we believe in. And we blog about relationships, we blog about men, women, uh, domestic violence, everything that can imagine that can happen to African American women, it has happened to the six of us. Wow. So we talk about that because we want women to go on record and reclaim their lives. Wow. Right now is never too late. Wow. It is never too late. And definitely, how can people find out more information about you? Because word is on the street, you're buzzing from one event to another, uh -oh. and you are blazing them. You are killing them. Don't she look good, y'all? She is here tonight. So tell everybody how they can stay connected. Uh, www.zondrahughes.com. Yes. And you have your book yes, as I do. well. I do. I do. And, and you're too young for that. <laughs> You know I'm 30 now, Zandra, no, right? So you know I'm 30 now. So <laughs> so you know what? She will always be my mini-me, my little one, and she's too young to know about that grown-up book, so we're not talking about the book. Uh, deputy editor rolling out six brown chicks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Y'all keep it locked. We're buzzing off here at a night of 100 stars. We're here with the one and only Mr. Herb Kent. Hey, Mr. Kent. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing good. Now, did I catch you doing the two-step coming in the building today? No, I don't think so. <laughs> but you're here on today. You're one of the hardest working men in the industry. Why did you decide to come out and take some time out of your schedule for the Saba Museum? Well, as you know, um, I carry weekends on uh, B103, and I also teach at Chicago State. My good friend, uh, Ken Bedford, called me and said, uh, hey man, let's go down and have a little fun because Tom Joyner is going to be down here. Tom is one of my friends. And I like the food, the atmosphere, and I love to talk to people. And there are a bunch of pretty ladies down here. <laughs> All good reasons, right? All good reasons. Now you're definitely a man on the move. What does history mean to you? The history is just indigenous to me. I love it. Yeah. Hey everybody, you know this your girl Latonya M. Lang and we're here with the one and only Mr. I and Miss Mitch and she's just celebrated her birthday. Happy 55. birthday. Dr. Burroughs was my high school art teacher. Wow. Yes, at DuSable. Wow. Oh yes. She was so my, I know you're 51. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You know I'm 56. Do you think that plus. she will be proud to see her legacy manifesting itself right now? Absolutely. She be, this woman, oh, even in high school, Gloria Brown and I, graduated together and uh, she knew who was going to succeed and here's the thing if you didn't know how as she said Midge can you do the box I said I can't draw the box she said you're going to be nobody wow. <laughs> wow. oh wow so she was in the art way well, back then Industry Buzz with 3Zs.com. Join in today on the movement to bring integrity back to media. With one click of a button, you can disseminate your information right from Industry Buzz to all your favorite social sites like Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and to your email contacts. Maximize your vision today. Plus, get the latest news, entertainment, and media. Need fashion or makeup tips? Looking for a job? Connect with us today. Want to connect with other business visionaries? Connect with us today. This site is for everyone from teens to music lovers, from businessmen and women, to industry professionals and performers. As a member of Industry Buzz with 3Z, you'll gain help promoting your vision. Industry Buzz with 3Zs will expose, expand, and keep your fan base up to date with all your happening. Members also receive free or discounted perks from various sponsored companies. So join the social network, expand, and stabilize your business. Connect with like-minded individuals. Need an artist to minister at your upcoming event? Look on Industry Buzz. Have a voice and submit your article to our e-magazine. Industry Buzz with 3Zs is the place to globalize your vision. Establish it today. Be heard. It's all on IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com.